Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be focusing on agentic chunking strategy. So let's have a look at what exactly this agentic chunking means. First, we'll see the official definition of agentic chunking. By the definition, agentic chunking is a text processing technique that employs large language models, that is nothing but LLMs, to decompose the textual content into clear, simple, and contextually independent propositions. Mark these words, it is a text processing technique, which basically makes the context more meaningful, so that we can use that created propositions as chunks, or we can then perform any other type of chunking on it to create chunks. And note one thing that here it uses LLM itself to process those data and convert it into independent propositions. So this make this particular technique different from the other chunking strategies that we have seen before. These propositions that are created by using this particular technique, they are then used such as building blocks for various downstream applications like question answering, summarization, and information extraction. So this agentic chunking is not only one of the way to create chunks, it is also a way to handle these particular tasks like question answering, summarization, and information extraction. So I hope a basic idea of what exactly this agentic chunking means is clear to you all. Now, let's have a look at the working of agentic chunking strategy. The LLM is used to identify and extract the propositions from the input text. Propositions are essentially declarative statements that convey information. So as already discussed, LLM is used over here to create the propositions. And what exactly propositions are, they are nothing but they are individual independent statements that convey complete information about the scenario. Don't worry, I'll take some examples through which this proposition concept will be clear to you all. And we'll also see how we can convert the raw data into these propositions using the agentic chunking technique. Now, once these propositions are created, then these refined propositions are grouped into chunks based on semantic similarity or other specified criteria. Now, one thing to note, the second step is optional and variable. Yes, you can use the propositions itself as chunks. Otherwise, you can go for the next step. You can create your custom chunks based out of that particular propositions based on any of the chunking strategy that we have seen before. You can use recursive character text splitting. You can use semantic similarity. The large language model can be used to determine the optimal chunk size and composition. You can use the LLM itself. You can ask the LLM also to create custom chunks out of this. The LLM will itself decide the chunk size and the composition of that particular chunks. So I hope the working of agentic chunking is clear to you all. This is how it works. And now we are going to see how we can implement agentic chunking using one of the most popular and best large language model. That is nothing but Llama 3. So let's see the implementation. Do you want to check out this attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contain technical information. Here, I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So, please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. Now, for implementing agentic chunking strategy, we require a very important thing that is large language model to create propositions. Here, I'm specifically using Llama 3 70 billion instruct model. And obviously, if you are using large language model, you will have to frame a prompt. This prompt is nothing but set of instructions that we give to the large language model to perform a particular task. Here, the entire game is in the hands of prompt. The way you write the prompt, the way you will get the results. Your prompt has to be very specific, concise, and understandable by the large language model. And yes, every large language model has its own template for writing prompt. If you want the prompt template of Llama 3, I'll post it in the description box. But for now, I'll simply explain you the template. 
in the example itself. I hope these things are clear. Now we'll see the paragraph that we are going to work on. So this is our very first paragraph. Here, these are set of statements. You can see in a forest, a fast rabbit and a slow tortoise who were friends. Now this is the first sentence. Now the second sentence starts with they raised. Here the pronoun they is used. If you separate this sentence from the previous one, then it's difficult by the machine to identify to whom we are addressing. So this second statement is not a proposition. Here it is not independent statement through which we can get the idea about the completeness of the statement. Similarly, if you look at the last statement, the rabbit learned not to underestimate others and they stayed friends. Over here also we can see pronoun is used. They stayed friends. If this particular statement becomes independent from the previous statements, then we cannot understand to whom it is addressing. So these are not propositions. These are not independent statements. These are not complete statements. So agentic chunking strategy makes every single statement propositions. It will create each statement in such a way that it will become independent. So that we can further use it to create chunks or we can simply keep it as it is as separate chunks. So I hope this paragraph is clear. Now we'll have a look at the prompt that we are going to use in the large language model of LAMA3. And this is the prompt. So I'll quickly tell you what exactly is the significance of each and every statement here and what exactly is the template. So you can see the very first line here I have defined the header. Now this is a part of the prompt template of LAMA3. Here this conveys that the further set of statements that will be provided in the prompt is nothing but the system prompt. That is the set of instructions that are going to the system, how it has to behave. You can see here it is written system. It says that the next lines are going to be system prompt. And what exactly is written? You are an agentic chunker. You will be provided with a content. So basically we are providing the instructions to the language model, how it should behave. So I have highlighted these statements. What exactly it has to do? It has to decompose the content that is provided into clear and simple propositions. Now, since large language model is trained on humongous amount of data, it understands the significance of each and every word. So that is why I don't have to explain what exactly proposition is. I can simply write the word proposition and I can simply describe it in simple lines if required, ensuring that they are interpretable out of the context. Now, these are the steps it has to follow to convert each and every statement into proposition. First, it has to split the compound sentence into simple sentence. So wherever it addresses the compound sentence, I hope you know the compound sentence meaning it has to convert it into simple sentence so that it can become independent to understand. And the last language model has to maintain the original phrasing from the input wherever possible. So this restricts the large language model to not respond with a huge variation in the data from the actual context that was provided. Second instruction we can give for any named entity that is accompanied by additional descriptive information, separate this information into its own distinct proposition. So here we are declaring what exactly it has to do. It has to convert every statement into separate distinct proposition so that it becomes independent. Decontextualize the proposition by adding necessary modifier to, to nouns or entire sentence and replacing the pronouns. This is very important. It has to replace the pronouns with the words that has to actually fit there for it to become independent statement. For example, it, he, she, they, this, that with the full name of the entities they refer to. Large language model is intelligent enough to understand to whom that particular pronoun is addressing to. It will automatically replace it. Fourth step that it has to follow is that present the result as a list of strings formatted as JSON. So here it so here we have defined the output format in which format it should output the response. It has to provide a list of strings formatted in JSON. Now you can see over here our system instruction is complete.
Next, we can see this particular header here. It says here it conveys that the system instruction is now over. Now comes the user part. Here comes the user prompt. So from this onwards, whichever statements will come, it will be user statements. It will be a part of user prompt. That means here we can provide the context on which it has to work on. We can provide the user query also. But here in this case, we do not require the user query. Here we only require the content that has to be converted into proposition. So here you can see uh, we have given the content as a dynamic variable. So here we are going to replace this particular string by the paragraph that we have seen before. And then we have simply written the statement strictly follow the instructions provided and output in the desired format only. So that it will again understand that it has to follow the instructions that were provided earlier in the system prompt. Next, you can see we have written this particular line. This is a part of prompt template. Here it says that the user instructions are now over. Now the user prompt is over. Now it's your duty to further generate the answer. So here you can see the assistant keyword is written. This assistant keyword says that now onwards, the LLM has to generate based on the instructions provided. So this is nothing but the prompt that we have written. And we are going to pass this particular prompt in the Lama 3 model so that it will convert the paragraph that we are going to pass in this particular prompt into proposition. So let's have a look at it. So I hope this particular prompt is clear. If you have any doubts, you can post it in the comment section. Now we'll pass this prompt in the Lama 3 model. So here you can see we have declared the variable content. Inside this, we have fed the paragraph that we have seen before. Then we have initialized the variable prompt. Here you can see the same prompt that I have shown you before. I have put this in this particular variable. Now from this prompt, you can see this particular string curly bracket content. Here we are going to replace the content with the actual content paragraph that is stored in the variable content. And we are going to store that into the actual prompt variable itself. And then we are going to pass the prompt in the function LLM. Inside this function, what exactly is done? Here, the Lama 3 model is called and this particular prompt is fed in the Lama 3 model with appropriate parameters like temperature, top P, top K, then max, new tokens, and so on. If you want to know more about the parameters that Lama 3 takes, you can, you can check the documentation present on the Hugging Face website. Or if you want it, you can just comment it. I'll post it in the comment section itself. And once this particular cell is executed, you can see this particular generated text. This generated text tells that the LLM has provided this particular generation out of the prompt that was passed. You can see, as per the instruction, it has provided list of statements in JSON format. Over here, you can see the first statement. There was a rab there was a fast rabbit in a forest. The rabbit had a friend who was slow, who was a slow tortoise in the forest. You can see every single statement is broken down into propositions, an independent statement, so that if another person comes and read any of any of the sentence, that person will understand what exactly is happening inside that particular statement. It will be a simple as well as a complete sentence. Then, then I shown you the last line the rabbit learned not to underestimate others and they stayed friends. Let's see this last line. The experience taught the rabbit not to underestimate others and the next sentence after the race, the rabbit and the tortoise remain friends. So here it becomes complete sentence. This is done by the agentic chunking strategy that we have seen now. This entire thing of passing the prompt in a large language model and telling it to convert this into propositions is nothing but agentic chunking strategy. Now you can use these individual statements as individual chunk. Otherwise, you can apply the semantic chunking strategy on top of this to create chunks out of it. I would suggest you to apply semantic chunking strategy on top of this set of statements so that your result will be much better. So I hope this example is clear. Similarly, I would like to show you one more example. 
where I have applied agentic chunking strategy. The prompt remains the same, only has changed the example. You can see this is the paragraph. Here it discusses about the outline. You can pause the video and have a look at these statements. We are now going to pass this paragraph into the prompt and we are going to send that prompt into the large language model. And we are going to use the same prompt that we earlier discussed. Now let's have a look at the code. Here you can see the content is now about the outlier. The prompt remains the same. We have replaced the content string with the actual content. And then we have passed this prompt into the LLM function. And here is the output. You can see the output is a list of string. And each string inside the list is a proposition. It's a complete statement. You can pause the video and have a look at the output clearly. And as I said, you can further apply the semantic chunking strategy on top of this. So I hope this particular example is also clear. And I'm damn sure now that agentic chunking strategy must be clear to you all. I have tried my best to explain you how to write prompts and how to format the output also. Here I used Lama 3 model. You can use any of the large language model, but make sure that you write the prompt clearly and properly. Now let's summarize what all we have seen in this particular video by looking at some points when to use this agentic chunking strategy. First, in question answering, breaking down the complex text into propositions can facilitate the identification of relevant information to answer the questions. Yes, of course, in any of the use case, you can use this agentic chunking strategy to make the information more relevant to read as well as to understand, especially in terms of question answering tasks. In summarization case, also you can use this. It will create the concise summaries by selecting and combining the informative propositions. Similarly, we can use this agentic chunking strategy in information extraction, extracting the information from text by focusing on relevant propositions. I would like to suggest you to explore this because it is very powerful strategy. You can use it in almost every single task to make your flow better. Also, you can use it in text classification to categorize the text based on the presence or absence of the specific propositions. Now, I hope when to use this strategy is clear to you all. Now, we'll see why to use this type of chunking strategy. Focus on the first point. It improves the understanding. LLMs can capture the underlying meaning of the text, leading to more accurate and informative chunks. And yes, in some cases, if your actual data is difficult to understand by humans, then if you use this strategy, LLM can make it better to understand. It will correct it and it will make it simple to answer it from the data also. Next, this strategy is flexible. It is known for its flexibility. The chunking process can be adapted to different downstream tasks and requirements. We already have discussed what all tasks we can perform using this particular chunking strategy. This is very much flexible. Next, it is known for its efficiency. By focusing on proposition, agentic chunking can reduce the amount of redundant information from the chunks. So if your actual data contains repetitive statements, which might create confusion in the rest of the flow in the rack system, this particular chunking strategy will also reduce the amount of redundant information. It will only keep the meaningful and important information only. And by this, the entire rack flow will become efficient. And with this, we come to the end of the video. I hope the agentic chunking strategy is clear to you all. I have almost covered every single thing related to this. If you guys have any doubt, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be very much happy to solve it. And yeah, for funny memes, but at the same time, technical and corporate means you can simply follow me on my Instagram page. The link is in the description box. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.